Now to move numerically, we want to come in here and we want to see this guy. So this is actually our time. So if we were to hit something like 95, that will move it to frame 95. You can see that's just shifted across and that will go for whatever we have selected. We could go frame 95 like that. But this becomes a bit of a problem if we've got lots of things selected and we go 95, it will say we can't move keys because we've got two keyframes and it wants to put them both on frame 95. So to offset numerically, we actually do the good old channel box trick, which is plus equals 20 and that will move those keys along 20 units. So I'll do that again. Let's start with some of these guys back here. We just want to move them five frames backwards. These guys here numerically. Well, we can just go negative equals five in that box there. And that will move those keys back exactly five frames. And that will go as well for the value, which is this guy here is the value. So you can see that that frame there is actually at 1.564 value on translate Z. You can see it if we come to that by holding down the V key and snapping to that. We can see it there. We can confirm that it is at that value. And we can come in now and we can type in something like three and that will just put it on three. You can see it's changed up there. It's just exactly the same sort of a box, but we can also do the same thing and we can go plus equals by five and that's just moving it up by five units to exactly five plus one, five, six, four, which equals 6.564. Now, just by the way, that works in almost any window in Maya, so you can do it here as well. Plus equals four or something like that will move it up, but you'll notice that it's not actually moving the keyframe until we hit S. So just good to know about that, that the plus equals is a very handy one that a lot of people don't know about. Move that for 12 frames and you can see it there, the numeric move modes.